Welcome everybody to this video. I have here the Mont Blanc 149 Meisterstück Origin Collection and I'm gonna unbox it here on this video. I haven't even looked inside so this is the first time I'm looking at it. Okay this seems to be the warranty card. Beautiful. Let's look inside the box. What comes out? Oh yes. Here is the box. Looks a bit sad compared to the other boxes I'm used to but okay here we have the 100 years Meisterstück. Let's see this box sliding around a bit. It should look like this. It's very small compared to the um, original boxes uh, for the more expensive pens that I'm used to. But this still looks beautiful. Very small. Probably very eco-friendly packing. Uh, packaging. Let's have a look inside. I have not had a look so this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. First time I'm figuring out the whole packaging situation here. It's nicely done, but who cares about the packaging for real? Ah, okay, it was this way around. And here we have the booklet. We're not gonna look at that, somebody else can show us, but let's look directly at the pen. It's in the sleeve. Oh yeah. So I remember the, the old times when they used to come in this beautiful um, box. This seems to be over and now we get this, well, sleeve. See, it's not been opened yet. Let's have a look inside and see how it looks. Ooh. And the seal is broken. Let's slide that beautiful thing out. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here it is. Okay, this is very nice. Very nice. It's a bit um a bit of powder um or what should I say? It's a bit of dust on there. Let me just quickly clean that off with the quick wipe of a micro cloth. Now it should look even better. Okay, now we have it here. Meisterstück. Okay, the swirls are really nice. I would say they're quite subtle actually. They're not too overboarding. I guess they're pretty hard to see. You can see them here in the light a little bit. Let me zoom the camera in a bit so it's easier to see. Or maybe easier to see. Let's go to 1.5. Here you can see these swirls on the cap. I think they're quite nice. I think they're very subtle on, on this one. I've seen ones where it's way more pronounced. <laughs> and yeah, somebody said it looks like cracks. They, they are not wrong. It does look like it's broken. And here, whatever's going on here, I have to check that out. That looks a bit uh, weird, to be honest, like some dirt or something. Uh, some imperfections there. That's interesting, by the way. I'm, I'm sure you can see this. This is running over the. It seems like glue or something. All right. So keep on turning. Uh, yeah, this one's a nice one as well here. And there you can really see um, it glowing really nicely. So this is. I think the cap is actually really beautiful. Um, and then we have the rest of the pen obviously being just black. Okay, let's unscrew it the first time. Going back to a little bit normal mode here. And just going back to show you a bit more. All right, unscrewing it for the first time. Oh yeah, you can see the, the ink window really well. And wow, here's the nib. That is impressive. Yeah, the nip is, is very nice, to be honest. I'm trying to get a bit of light um, on this for you, so you can see it even better. Yeah, so it says 100 years. I mean, the engraving is amazing, to be honest. The engraving is just beautiful. And let's zoom in a bit to get a bit more of the engraving. Yeah, that's nice. So the engraving nice. I mean, obviously these come with an M nib. So I was at the Mont Blanc boutique and they told me that um, they can actually be exchanged for extra fine, fine, bold and double bold. Um, and I'm actually thinking about doing that to exchange it for a double bold um, or even a single bold, just to have something different in the collection. Because, yeah, it just makes sense to have a bit of a variety. 
So this looks actually very nice. It's a big, big pen. Uh, just for comparison reasons, let's have a look. So this is the Meisterstück here. And then we can have a classic. This is a normal Le Grand size. This is actually a rollerball, but still Le Grand. Then we have a normal fountain pen Star Walker here. And don't worry, I'll go above with the camera so it's easier to see. But here we have a Writer's Edition Special. So if we go over these, it's, yeah, it is a big and thick pen. It's not a small pen or anything. It's quite large, actually. Um, it looks very interesting with the model cap and the imprint on there. Um, to be honest, let's have a comparison of the nib sizes. I think that could be interesting as well. So we have this beautiful piece here it is a writer's edition by Leo Tolstoy, which is my favorite current pen, to be honest. I'm really enjoying it. And here we have the new Origin series. And you can see how big, <laughs> there's a big difference between the nibs. I mean, that's a big, big nib. Well, yeah, it's a big nib. <laughs> the engraving, I think, on the Leo Tolstoy is also really nice. I mean, it has this beautiful, like, um, crest of the, of Leo Tolstoy. Um, but yeah, the nib sizes are just different. They are just so much bigger. Let's have a quick look at the um, <laughs> Starwalker. The Starwalker is way smaller. It's got a very small nib. And now if we compare these, I mean, it's just, there's like worlds between them. Really worlds. I mean, the Starwalker writes fine and it's really a good pen as well. But obviously this is very, very, very beautiful and imposing. So let's have a look around the cap once more. There were some discussions about this being looking like it's been chipped or fragmented or something else. Um, yeah, I think it, the people who said that are absolutely right. If you see it here in the in the close up, it sometimes here, especially here, it will look like oh no, it's broken or chipped. Um, yeah, that's kind of like a <laughs> weird thing. But um, yeah, the engraving. Let's have a quick look at the engraving. How deep it is. It's actually, I don't think it's deep at all. It's could be. No, I think it's it's engraved. It, it's not. I don't think it's put on, printed on. Then it would go off really easily. But I'm not one hundred percent sure. I'm trying to feel it. It's not easy to feel. I have one. I don't have the pen here. It also has engraving just to compare how it feels. But otherwise, I think it's a very beautiful pen. I think they did a good job here. I understand when everybody loves the classics. That makes sense. I do understand that. But it's just, um, it is still one of the classics. And I think they, I really like the silver cap and the silver back, to be honest. Um, because I, there are so many, so many of these very classic looking pens out there. And then, you know, this is basically the classic Meisterstück look, even though this is a ball pen, right? And it's a beautiful look. It's a beautiful look. But I do enjoy having the freshness here of the, you know, having a, a bit of a difference here. I don't have a normal Meisterstück um, here. And the pronunciation is Meisterstück. Um, I can say that because I am native to that language. So um, it does look different. And I, I really enjoy that it's not just black, black here. I think it's a, it's a great, great look. And um, yeah, I think it's for everyone, you know, there, there will be different special editions coming out, I guess, this year. But if you have not owned a 149, then this is probably a really good, good choice and a really nice um, one to buy. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. I might swatch, swap the nibs and see how I feel about that. And um, we'll get back to you at some point <laughs> about this. just wanted to, to show the beautiful pen. All right. Take care.